G'day mates and welcome back to Finlandia, where I'm fairly certain this guy has somehow rearmed himself, so let's get into this. Uh, last time we left off, I was retreating a guy to stop that, moving a guy to he Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. Actually, you should probably switch to here and just try and get in to stop this division from being lost, or maybe go to here. That's a better choice, yeah, okay. So, uh, a few things to address a few comments from last time. One, I didn't go fascist, oh well, go weep about it. I have 90, like 90% 90 of my playthroughs are me going fascist. I'm sure you can go find one. Um, as for not, for those who are sad we didn't do Shield of the North, to be frank, I don't really care. I know we did Nordic Union the last time I did Finlandia, Finland run, but that was a different focus tree, and also, this is, the, there is two bloody, uh, what do you call it? Two focuses different. The, the other difference, the thing we could have done if we went, uh, where is it? Oh no, sorry, we can still do this. Oh, we have to go down... Can we not do this? Oh, we have to not be in a faction. So I guess... I guess we could join the Axis still, if we, uh, if we got rid of Sweden. Which is still an entire possibility we can do that, but the problem is... Oh, we have to lose to, uh, the Soviet Union first. So no, we actually can't do that. Alright, well, yeah, either way that wouldn't have happened. Yeah, there was just two focuses difference, so we would have gotten... Uh, better defense and factory output, and then the same amount of recruitable population, but instead of getting attack and defense, we would have gotten uh, land fort and coastal fort boost. To be frank, there's no real difference other than that we got Sweden. We were sort of brought into a no-win situation where if I didn't do anything as the Shield of the North, the Soviet Union didn't declare a war on me in that run, so it's just there was no war happening. And if I went democratic, which I had to, there was a civil war, so I lost half my units and a bunch of my civvy factories, which fucking sucked. And even beyond that, I was like, okay, let's actually have a war. Let's declare war on Sweden. Oh, they're in the Allies now. Okay. So that was fucked. And I was getting navally invaded. And I was like, okay, well, this is just an endless, no fun sort of run. On this run already, I'm having a lot more fun because I have a... Sweden is to back me up for the uh, uh, strength-wise. So I've actually... I've got... No, I don't have their factories, but I have at least their units, which is uh, helping me out. Oh, shit. These bastards are being attacked here now. Come on. Come on. Someone's got to get up. All right, good. He's going to be free. Um, look, it's just a more fun run overall. Yeah, I know the white girl would have been kind of cool to see, but we can do those in another run or something. I'm, like, glad I'm not doing fascists for once. I was so fucking tempted to- You little shits. You little shits. You mother- Mmm, okay. Um, oh, I also saw someone say that I was, uh, I fucked up. Where is it? I fucked up the whole getting Denmark and, uh, Norway in because I didn't pause when I was choosing focuses. Guys, there's a- there's a seven-day- like, uh, freedom, sort of, uh, seven day leniency you're given. Uh, if you don't choose a focus for seven days, you won't actually lose any progress. Hang on, wait for this guy to go past. Uh, instead it will save up progress and just cost you the political power it would have cost you in one big burst. That's called game mechanics, but um bum Alright, looks good here. We're gonna fall this guy back, let them march forward if they want. I'm trying to get to this river, because if we can take this lake here, we can cut them off. They are going for Helsinki, which is going to hell sucky, but that was fucking terrible. Never going to say that again. Uh, let's just drop these guys, and instead we're going to deploy this militia down here. Stop building, guys, because we don't really need them. Um, okay, you guys can join the main front line. We're going to get these four guys here, and they're going to go under Hugh Osterman. I feel like, hmm, maybe this guy comes from one of our fine allies in the future. Hello there, Germany. Fuck, the fact that the Axis have won this war is just making me so unhappy. I thought we were going to see, like, a, like, Europe dominated by Poland, and just, ugh, at least hopefully the Germans and the Italians will end up at war. That's the one thing I'm hoping for. But even then, the Germans are just going to fucking roll them over, because look how big Germany is. Um, okay, what was I bloody, uh, oh right, Home Guard, here we go. You know what, we're going to call these guys the White Guard. Nice. Uh, and they're going to defend Helsinki right here, beautiful. We pretty much just want them to hold the line so they can't get to the port. Looks like we're about to take the uh, lake as well. If we can march you to here, we can, like, make that line, uh, let's call the encirclement, double thick. Always love me a thick encirclement, I do. Ah, that, 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 I see you guys trying that shit. And roll this guy back. Check it, instead kill this guy here. Nope, that's not gonna happen. Try. No. Oh shit, National Spain is in the novice. Okay, that's a little weird. I would have expected them to go Axis. Novus Imperium Romanum. Romanum. Is it, is it it's Romanum or Roman... Romanum? It's... Romanum, lovely, and I'm sure that's not how you say it, as someone will later inform me. Um, let's get that war propaganda going up, because we need to get our fucking mobilization up. We have a lot more power... Uh, it's called... 
population than we're actually using right now. Oh, a little bit more. Not a lot. <laughs> Fuck it, we hate Japan. Fuck you, Japan. God, Japan is, as with all fucking invasions in the East, just not moving at all. Alright, let's uh, march on up here. Swing around this way. Oh god, Lenin Trotsky. No, no, Leon, no. I said Lenin there, Jesus. Oh. You little shit. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, march forwards, try and cut that guy off there. Ah, uh, shit. Right. Maybe we can take this guy- No, I don't think so. Instead, let's swing forwards with this lad. Forwards, mate. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Right. Oh. Oi, you little shits. I'm gonna send up the horse to go help him out. Hold on. There's a few of them escaping. Oh, we still got five. These fucking moddies are working well. Here we go. Attack this guy. Nope. Wait. Okay, attack, attack. Go, 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 go. For Gibraltar. Oh, of course, because they're at war, bloody, um, with the UK, aren't they? And have been for quite some time. Here we go. We're actually gonna use the horse to this. Oh, hungry. <gasps> they're demanding Southern Slovakia. This might be the war. This might be the war. Finally, please, 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 please. Oh. Oh, they, they gave them the war. However, no, they might, they're not done just yet, because they demand it, and then they claim overlordship, that will spark war with Germany. Mmm, I hope so. It'll be a good fun war. This guy's still stuck here, by the way. We should probably go help him out at some point. Uh, we're gonna get Huge Overman to join us. He's gonna cover the center line, since we don't really need to guard Helsinki anymore. We're gonna get all of our guys back on the line, good. Can we retake Sala or something? I don't know, let's... How's our, like, equipment doing? Not great. We're currently producing no motorized rocket as well. And here we go. Let's just cut back here and there. Yeah. That should be okay. Alright. Um, oh, shit, hang on. We're shipping in too much of that. Uh, let's ship in some steel. There we go. Nice little bit extra. Okay. Um, oh, fucking you. Why are you on a boat? Hang on, is there any... Oh, we actually have supremacy. Oh, because the Swedish. Right, okay, hang on. Let's uh, send it our cruisers. Here we go. Then we on convoy guard. And our convoys... Oh, no, no, convoy guard. And here we go. And our uh, subs on convoy raid. Perfect. Planes still back home. I think I'm going to leave them there just in case we ever need them. Um, okay, hold on. You go that way to attack. You swing down and block them off. Good. You march forwards to block this and hopefully attack those guys in case they want to march forwards. Right, we're looking good. I'm afraid of my top half of my country getting cut off. That m is like the main threat I'm worrying about right now. I can see this guy's marching up though. Hang on. You? No, okay. Chill. I'll let them, I'll let them separate before we bother attacking. Let's try and take Sala. Are any of my guys on aggressive? I'm trying to figure out why they're attacking. No, they shouldn't be. Oh, I forgot I gave this guy a naval assault plan. So long ago. I'm pretty sure I'm not meant to be able to hear these songs. These are peacetime songs, aren't they? Either way, I like them. The bloody, uh, the allied music is actually some of my, my most favourite. See, that's, that's the thing, is they never go democratic, so I never get to hear this. Actually, I don't think I've ever heard a communist track in Hoi 4. <laughs> What's the, uh, it's the Red Army March or whatever? March the Red Army? Where is it? Yeah, the Red Army, Russian Victory, Mother Russia. Those all play when you're communist. I remember I modified it a while back for um, for my Australia run, my Mad Max run, when I did like the gum trees and bloody, uh, what do you call it? It was gum trees, it was Waltz and Matilda, and Obunaru as well. That's right, what a time. That was a good fucking run. Though it just got so, like, horrible, like, so uh, grindy by the end, the attrition was terrible. Because I had to uh, fight America, who was like late game production, so they were going mental. And I had nothing but motorized. I wasn't allowed to use infantry, so I had no one to actually hold a line. It was basically just like spamming out military, but my gear was disappearing faster than I could build it. Hang on a second. Oh, you little shits. Hang on. If, we, if I can just... Yeah, if I can delay him for a little bit. You brave... Brave division, hold slightly longer. Ah, oh, shit, you didn't hold long enough, mate. Come on. Anyway, we've fortified the uh, south of our country. Let's get decryption up. Good. Karl Jar Jala. I mean, I like that we've fortified probably the parts that the Russians actually own. Um, let's just hold off on fortifying until we own all of our country again. Let's get... Yeah, the radio, sure. This guy is still chilling here. Can we actually liberate him? No, he's a little bit hard. Okay. 
Right. The Swedes are doing fine. Oh, wait, hang on, what? Is there two lines for the Swedes? Yeah, you guys forget about that line. Focus on that line. Actually, maybe we can... If we get, like, three guys in this line... Uh, I'm just a little afraid that they're gonna, they're gonna get cut off again, so maybe we do want to put, like, two guys up here. Here we go, so... Oh, shift. Why am I holding control? I've played this game for fucking... Actually, I think it's... I was about to say years, but I guess it's been, like, a year and a half now? How long's this game been out? God. Hold on. How are we doing here? Come on, go, 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 go! Oh, okay, fucked it. Too late. Pull back, boys, pull back. Just hold on to Sala. Okay, don't actually join the attack. Oh, right, I know why you're attacking now. I totally forgot you're on a, on a go mode. Anyway. Right. Let's maybe push into here, see if we can't... Oh, Yugoslavia's in the Allies. That's gonna matter for fucking naught. I've never seen them actually make a difference in the war. Um, not like Yugoslavia themselves, but the front of Yugoslavia, that is. Okay. Not doing too bad here. Let's try and cut off this little... Let's make another moddy, shall we? I love I'm just, like, recreating the real-world tactics here. Fucking lovely. Here we go. Alright. Pull back with those guys. Those guys can finish the job. You you be a distraction. Good. Good. Perfect. Okay, alright. Send these guys in. God, how many... What's the casualty ratio right now? We've lost 118,000. Right. The Swe I like to see the Swedes have really fucking done their job. Jesus. Um, They've lost... 500,000. That's not bad. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of happy with those numbers. Alright, um... Those are good numbers. Right, here we go. Let's, let's, uh... Why can't you attack? It's a thick river. And by a thick river, I mean a lake. It's generally not how you describe them, but fuck it. That's how I'm going to. Italy's gone for Greece. Oh, we all knew it would come eventually. Oh, no. Italy... Oh, wait. I guess this is different, because they joined the Allies rather than Metamorsi this time. I wonder if the win, because the uh, Romanum's here, bloody Bulgaria's on the border, and they alone could probably beat Bulgaria. Like, that's a very careful probably. But Italy, I think, is going to stomp, uh, st sorry, stomp Greece, rather. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see. It's going to be an interesting war to keep our eye on. Let's march our guys down to here real quick. Help out. Eight, 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 eight. Hold on. Ah, oh, good, you're going to help. You can go in here and attack. Come on. Come on then, we've almost got him. And nice little encirclement. Bish, bash, bosh, moddy closed. Lovely. Get these guys that a job. So what we're going to do is actually going to try and like mount a little bit of a rescue effort for that one fucking division right there. So these guys are going to go onto here. Beautiful. If we can just close this uh, bloody neck here as well, we can crush their divisions in the north. What's, actual, what's their division count right now? Oh, it's fucking ridiculous, I see. Thankfully, a lot of it's going to be in the east. I just want to, like, slowly reduce the line until we're fighting only in Soviet Russia. Then I can worry about just straight attacks. But until then, I'm going to keep fucking moddying the shit out of it because I have the uh, homegrown advantage here with Sizu. Fucking love fighting with something like this. It, it changes how you fight because I don't really want to leave Finland all that much. I want to let them in, let them fight me, then they're going to die because they're in Finland and therefore at a disadvantage. But if I fight them in Soviet Russia, I'm at a disadvantage. So, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Looking good. Crush these two lads here. Sala almost fell. Let's try and... Uh, okay, they're, they're actually going to reopen this, aren't they? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Froze for a moment. Good. Come on, lads. Come on. Come on. Go already? Shit. Alright, well, they're going to get out. Yeah, well, let's just force them out. Can they stop using my bloody forts as well? I have to keep repairing those. Oh, hello. You've, have you just done that? Is that is that your plan, really? Two two divisions as well. Oh, strikes. Shit. Uh, fuck, I always hate these. Uh, heroes in the production front, please. I fucking hate strikes. Oh, my God. Oh, shit, there's armor as well. Okay. Um, Actually, I think, thankfully, I can pierce the armor. It's also super under-equipped, so... Let's just do some things real quick. Oh, fuck, Sweden, could you stop owning that so I can actually build land forts there? That's really annoying. Right. Consumer good. Oh, shit. Why is this so bad? Oh, because of strikes. Okay, never mind. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that in a moment. Could we actually... No, we'd have to kill that guy, so we're going to hold off for now. I think, I've, like, I, think I might be able to have this war. If I, if I just keep chugging on, chug, nice and simple-like, we, uh, we could win by Christmas, he says, knowing that it's not going to be over by Christmas. Alright. Nice and easy. Move it forwards. The problem is they've got our fucking forts right here. It's no fun. It's making our attacks a little bit more difficult. And you attack this guy here. Don't let him through. Good shit. 
Oh. We're good. Jesus, game. Come on, what? What? It's only 1940. Calm the fuck down. Jesus, that was a long load. Fuck me. All right. What's happening down here? Oh, Yugoslavia is just being crushed. Greece is not doing a great job. I imagine they'll hold at Athens for a while, but it uh, looks like Africa is the allies. And Europe? I mean, look, I just hope, like, a three-way war starts pretty soon. Like, the Pact of Rome is fucked on its own. It is just, there's no chance for it to win. Look at, look at that. Like, I know Hitler is the only one who's actually worth anything in the... I mean, Hitler is the only independent in the faction. But, uh, I think... I think he could still probably solo the, uh... I think if the Pact of Rome and Novus declared at the same time, Hitler might lose, but individually, he'll win. It's just... God. And for a run where I gave him the suiciding Hitler portrait, fuck, I thought he was done. It'd be nice to see a run where Germany doesn't just dominate. Like, Europe is a, such a fun place to fight in this game. But, uh... No, sadly, this run we do not get to see that. Sala is just being fucked. I think we're gonna have to accept that and retreat. Thankfully, there's nothing actually there, so that's fine. Fall back. Here we go. Marching on. Oh! <gasps> That was not what I was expecting. What? Oh my god. Did, was, I, was I? Did they just do like war with Russia? Was I not paying attention? Oh, you're my ally now. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of my fight. But oh boy, that's that makes a bit of a difference. Um. Well then, I think this is my fucking comeuppance here. So we let's just start pushing everywhere that they're retreating because they're starting to pull back some serious. Uh, Serious numbers of troops. Hang on, let's attack here. You're actually retreating, so I'm gonna hold off on that. You can... No, you're... You can move to here. Good. Alright, he's gone. Beautiful. Okay, hang on. Anything down here? Anything down here? Fuck, they really... They reinforce the border. Anytime there's like a line between two borders, they always reinforce it because they put troops on one side of the border and troops on the other side. However, I have just noticed they've just left this bit here because they're fucking smurt. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Do we have any guys? Fuck no, we should always have one guy. Always have an emergency soldier backed up. You march on real quick. Go, 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 go. And caught him. Good. Fuck, that was close. Um, okay, I think this guy might die soon. But looks like they've left this open. So, <gasps> no, we can totally rescue him. Holy shit, who, which division is this? The 6th Division Una. Fuck. Come on, save him. Oh yeah, right, someone mentioned as well in the comments that I actually gave Sweden a Lend-Lease, not the other way around, so when I was mocking them, I'm actually sending them their cannon as well, that's how fucking smurt I am. Christ, uh, so, my apologies. My apologies, Sweden. Instead, instead of me sending you things, how about this? How about you send me things? That'd be nice. Thanks, Sweden. Nice, you're sending me those cannons I just sent you back. <laughs> oh, God, I'm intelligent, eh? Right. Just gotta stop these guys from cutting my boy off. Good. Move you to here. Move you to here. Lovely. <gasps> we fucking rescued him. They just cancelled their land lease. What cunts? Oh my god. We fucking rescued him. And he's gonna fucking finish an encirclement. The moment he gets back, he's like, Boys, we've been waiting in this moddy for ten years. No longer. Let's encircle some fucking Soviets and let them see how they like it, the cunts. Oh my god. This is perfect. I'm loving this. This is the best timeline. Yes. Yes. Yes, look at this. Alright, we need to we need to like make this guy something special. Hang on, this guy. Um Oh, of course, of course. Um fucking Beautiful, the Lost Battalion. Let's upgrade these boys, cause fuck yeah. Hang on, these guys need okay, those, those guys are doing fine. 20 left as well. Beautiful. We're gonna make a new template just be just called uh Heroes of Finlandia. Lovely. Gonna give him a fucking awesome, uh, the, uh, the Russians broke before Finland did. Um, I'm trying to think, like, what's, what's, like, a holding symbol? Emu? No. Um, I think that, I think the fist is fucking nice, like, the, uh, the resistance fist. Looks fucking awesome. No, 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 the bear claw, yes, yes. Okay, right. Here we go. We're gonna just kit these guys out. We're gonna give them some anti-tank as well, because we've got some stolen, I think. Let's see, what's our what's our stalls of anti-tank looking like? Two. We are not giving them anti-tank, right. Um, let's give them some just a load of fucking gear. Hold on, here we go. We wanna go. Anti-air. Oh, hang on. Artillery. Uh. Artillery. 
And yeah, we're gonna make a mega division out of these guys. So more artillery, and then we're just gonna have a line of infantry to just boost them up. Yep, that makes a 50 width division. Do you wanna go like a last bit of anti-air maybe? No, I think I think the last bit will be infantry. Oh boy, fuck me, that's a good division. 20,000 manpower in that division alone, right. So yeah, we're looking at what? 6 artillery, 4 anti-air, 15 infantry. Terrible division design, but fuck me, these guys are going to be organized, they're going to have a lot of HP. Breakthrough out the arse, they've got defense for days, they've got air attack, they've got fucking heart attack, they've got soft attack. These guys are built. Hang on, no, no, no. Built. There we go. Where are you? Where are you, the Lost Battalion? Fuck yes. Heroes of Finlandia. Lovely. Alright, it means they'll also get equipped first. We're gonna have a fucking mega division. I wonder if that's like a strategy. Like, I wonder if I can play with this a little bit more for, uh, for miners. Because with a miner, having like a bunch of, uh, enough units to cover your front line is important. But a lot of the time it comes down to a singular, like, encirclement or a single push that you need to make. So surely having like a super division is important for those times when you're like, I just need to make this push so that we can capture that city or surround those divisions. And then we'll like, we'll, you know, be insured victory or whatever. Insured? Ass assured. Insured. <laughs> Do you need victory insurance? Well then, don't count on the Italian army. Right. Let's go. Uh... Have we actually got all of Finland back yet? No, we still don't have this little... I mean, actually, wait, hang on, we do have all of Finland. Okay, we still don't, do, don't want to do the fortification focuses, because they still might add to the enemy's lands, but let's just do the, um... Ones that give us factories. Lappy, lovely. Hold on, hold on. Okay, this is perfect, so he's there, you guys get stuck in, you march to here, attack in, you march to here and attack in. Beautiful. Lovely. Pakapale! Sounds like you're saying Pakapanyol. For those who don't know, Pakapanyol's a place around uh, Australia. A little uh, sort of town slash abandoned hill. It's a nice place. It's not a nice place. I think we used to go motorbike riding up there. <laughs> okay, it's not a terrible place either, but uh, it's the, uh, there's an army base up there, if I recall rightly, at Pakapanyol. Um, let's go up like so. We're looking good, we're looking good, we're looking good. Alright. Full of Kiev. Oh shit. Soviets, Soviets, Soviets. I love that the, um, the fucking Germans get into Leningrad and be like, but these aren't Soviets. And they'll be like, no, but you can kill the Swedish that are staying here for some fucking reason. How dare they steal my fucking airport. Man, we might actually be able to regain air, uh, air superiority. Spurity? Air superiority soon. Oh shit, we are actually shooting down their uh, planes as well. And let's see if there's any like... No, that was really like the only combat they got involved in. They sent one plane and we shot it down. Nice. Congratulations, you guys. Uh, maybe here? No? Maybe here? Also no. I do fucking love Bear of Artillery though. Oh, that'll make my division even like stupidly stronger because he's gonna have like the plus 15% bonus. Oh god, this, this Mega Division just keeps getting better. Heroes on the production front. Lovely. I'm glad- I've never seen that fail, honestly. It's not, not a high chance, but still. One day I will, and one day it will ruin me economy. Here we go. Strikes are just so fucking damaging, it's ridiculous. Here we go. Come on, guys. Get stuck in, get stuck in, surrounded, beautiful, kill him. God, these trucks aren't half bad, actually. Like, look at their fucking damage output. Which is... Oh, hang on. No, there we go, that's their damage output. It's 192... Uh, uh, 129... Versus my baseline infantry, which is one, two, no, okay, so actually they, they're equivalent. They're just much faster, and I assume have a better breakthrough? Basically, you see, oh, it's kind of hard to judge, because these guys, okay, no, no, they're much better breakthrough normally, but these guys are getting a massive penalty, whereas these guys are getting a massive buff. Fair enough, all right. Let's see, what are we doing? What are we doing? Want to cut these guys off down here? Sure, they're trying to attack my lads, so let's do this, bit of this, bit of that. The tank won't hold for long. Fucking tankies, get out of here. Right, beautiful. Tankies is a word for someone who fucking loves Stalin. Right, um, surround this guy up here. Here we are. No, 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 I can see what you're doing there, you little shit. Hang on a moment. You stay right where you are. Okay, you move to here. Oh god, I'm loving this. 
I should have really cold adapted my guys earlier though. Like the, uh, the training to make them cold adapted. I feel like it'd be a little bit- oh wait no, they are adapted. Why are they not? What the shit? Why is it- why is it still got an X? Maybe it means they're not currently cold adapting or it's not currently in use or whatever. Like it's not currently cold enough to actually use the cold ad uh, adaptation. Weird. Not quite sure why that is. It's quite a nice feature they added to the game though. I, any features they add that... Basically, I fucking love features. The reason why I can't wait for Man the Guns is they're adding naval terrain. And I love features that let a smaller force win against a larger force using tactics and clever strategy and yada yada yada. It's the problem with Navy right now is there is zero tactics or strategy of Navy. It's build a big Navy, have the better ships, and congratulations, you have victory. Like, naval strategy is actually really fucking interesting. Like, the Battle of Midway? Where the fuck is Midway, by the way? Midway's here? Yeah, Midway Island. Here you go. It's, it's a lot further south than I thought it was. Huh. Like a lot. I thought it was like here. But I guess it was. Equivalent. It is amazing how there's just nothing here. I mean, there's, I'm, there's probably a few islands, like a toll or two, but fuck me, there's just nothing. And then down here, of course, you got the uh, Pacific Islands. Fucking islands everywhere. Australia to the south. Then again, I suppose there's not too many islands around here. Bermuda, obviously. You've got uh, the Azores. This is a lovely old time, you know? It's a good good time. Good time on those islands. No, it ain't. <laughs> there's cannibals on them islands, as we found out in, uh, was it the uh, Confederacy run? Oh, the, uh, the, uh... oh god, what was the end of a new beginning? Not a bad mod, just currently very unfinished. There's not much there to play. No, not much there to actually really do. Right. Do you wanna... Let's try and... I'm trying to like figure out a way we can get these tanks in an encirclement. I don't think it's going to happen. No. Maybe we can hang on. Hold back, hold back, mate. Hold back. Wait for this guy to pass. Wait for the patrols to pass and then move around. Fuck. Damn it, they expected that. It's almost like I've been doing that every single time in this war. They've finally adapted their tactics. And hey, it looks like we can move the Swiss... Uh, sorry, the Swedish rather to the front line. There we go. Oh shit, how long left on my timer? Truly, I've, I've just been playing this game, I love it. Oh shit, I couldn't tell ya. Anyway. Right. Do we wanna, um... I'm tempted to assault out right now, but I think I'm just gonna hold the right line at Leningrad regardless. Oh, Greece is gone. Rip. Let's, uh... Let's get, yeah, let's get more decryption, sure. Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to try and run out and uh, basically try and get a front line so that if the Germans attacked, they'd be helping me capture territory. But I just think it won't be worth it. Like, to cross a river, we're going to lose too many guys. We haven't got any guys in position. They aren't planned right now. I think we're going to let the Germans capture up this territory, and then we're going to move all our guys to the front line and begin, like, a complete attack on the uh, on the Ruskies. That's my plan. Here we go. Try and push them across the river. Lovely. Alright, we ain't doing too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's uh, finish up this fight here. Uh oh, here we go, here we go. Yugoslavia rejects Hungarian demands. <sighs> if only they could have accepted, they would have given away German territory. But no, no. Uh, now that uh, now Pact of Rome is at war with the Allies, which is going to matter probably fuck all. Oh shit, hang on a second. No, but they do have a non aggression pact with Germany. Weird. That won't affect the focus, though, I don't believe. Non-aggression packs in this game feel very, very toothless and pointless. Like, you never really want one. Anyone that you want that, like, wants an aggression... Okay, but, like, generally the thing is, the AI doesn't declare war on you enough randomly to warrant non-aggression packs. Like, you know, like, oh, thank God, now my flank is secure. I know they're not going to declare war on me. It's like, I know they're not going to declare war on me because they won't. Like, that's... They, I just, I know they're not going to. They're, you know, they're this nation or whatever. Um... So generally, you either like you you either don't want to accept them because you're going to going to declare war on them, at which point, you know, you don't accept, or you don't want to accept them because then you know that they're not going to uh, going to declare war on you, and you're not going to declare war on them. So why do you even need the pact? It's a bit of a I don't know catch twenty two anything. It's like you're not going to declare war on them, so you don't need the pact. But since you'd want to have the choice of it, you might as well not. I mean, it's not really Catch-22, is it? I don't know, it's weird. It's still just like, you, you never want the pact. There is no situation in which you want a non-aggression pact, because either... The only time I've seen it is when the AI weirdly offers you one, like sometimes you get offered one as the, um... I don't know, as like, 
Yugoslavia as Germany. But the problem is, like, the way Germany declares war on you is focuses generally as Yugoslavia. What the fuck, Sweden? I have to go rescue a Swedish division right now. God damn it. God fucking... Get, sweet, Sweden, really? Sweden? Come on. Come on. This is what we're going after now. No, not Vilho. Alright, tell you what, I think we're nice and ready. Uh, they still haven't actually finished up their capturing, but that's fine. I'm gonna pull these guys off the front line and leave that lone Swedish division to look after it. Here we go. All of you bastards, get on the front line. And we wanna not have the front line actually be at Leningrad anymore. Hold on, where is the... Okay, there's the... It was hidden under a fort. God damn it, right. Um, anyway, sorry, so like I was saying with, um... Man the Guns. It's nice having features that, uh, let you win through tactics and, like, home ground sort of stuff. That sort of, uh, side of things. Which Man the Guns is obviously adding with naval terrain. So you can build, like, a home waters fleet. Like, a fleet built to fight in your waters. And if you can draw, like, the British fleet into your waters, even though you might be worse than them, you'll have an advantage, because you'll know your own waters, you'll have, like, uh, you'll, you'll have built your fleet to suit your own waters, you'll be fighting, you know, a defensive battle, you'll have your ports close by so you can quickly repair and quickly get back into battle, because repairing now takes industry costs, so repairing is now an important thing you have to look after. It's like, ah, it's, it's good, it's fun, it's tasty, it's strategy, that's the whole point of the fucking game. See, now that I'm moving to the Soviet Union, I don't have my bonuses anymore, which is, again, the problem I didn't like that much about the Shield of Finland line, was, if I ever got successful, I would lose my bonuses, which I don't do if I do it this way. Do I actually need any of these? Not particularly. I'm not actually building tanks as well, so fuck it. Let's just keep buying something around here. Peasant draft? No, no, no. Improve working conditions? Also no, no, no. Um, begin summoning intellectuals? Ooh, stabilizing regions? What the fuck? This is a thing? What? Stabilize Leningrad. It's now my core. Is this part of the mod? I don't have like a coring states mod on. This is fucking awesome. Holy shit. I know where all of my fucking political power is going now. Um. Okay. We're also going to go for some war or propaganda against the German Reich. Anyway. What the fuck? Is this like a... Finlandia edition? Because if so, that's fucking awesome. I like that you can, like, stabilize it and get it under your control. Ah, uh, division's so fucking dead. At least they distracted, like, 12 divisions, though. Nice job, lads. Alright, how are we doing on planning? Why are you guys not assigned to the order? What the shit? Hold on. Is it, it's not still, like, a... Okay, you're good. There you go, beautiful. The Orland volunteers. Here we go. Right, looking good. Alright, three. Hang on. Wait until you guys are in position. Come on now, lads. Look, the Swedish division's gone. For, gone. So it ain't coming back, alright? We ain't bringing her home. I wonder if I can get to Moscow, and if I got to Moscow, could I stabilize Moscow and just take that as my core? Because if so, fuck yes. Look at my fucking manpower! It's already skyrocketing! Oh, if I, if I can keep doing this to Russia, this is going to be what's referred to as a fucking strong playthrough. Go, 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 go! Oh, the army's, army's just collapsing before me. Alright, boys. Full aggressive. We want to take this shit over. We want to beat the Germans to it. Proclaim Nordic unity. Don't worry, we'll do that later. Oh, man. Shame we can't justify on uh, Denmark or, or on Norway. But thankfully enough, if, uh, if the Germans win, we can take their shit over. Come on. I want to see if I can take over Olent as well. Come on. You guys go to here. Attack this shit here. Go, boys. Go, boys. Go, boys. Cut them off. Petrozavosk. That sounds like a town from uh, Armour. Oh, Elektrozavosk. That's the town I'm thinking of. From Chernorus. Fuck me, Armour 2 is such a good game. I fucking loved Armour 2. Um, uh, Operation Arrowhead, though, was like top tier quality armor. That was like my the heyday of my armor. Armour 3 is good fun. I really enjoy it and I play a lot of it still. But um, I, just, I just like that was my like first time with armor. Operation Arrowhead was like such an upgrade. Operation Arrowhead was like, back in the day, we didn't used to have DLC. We used to have expansion packs, and expansion packs fucking revolutionized games generally, and Operation Arrow Arrowhead did exactly that. Even though, ironically, I believe I downloaded it, so, you know, whatever. The, yep, oh my god, we can totally do this. Oh, yes. Look at my manpower fucking rise. Oh my god, this is so overpowered. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. 
Anyway, no, Operation Arrow had fucking, like, changed everything. They changed how vehicles works majorly. Um, like, they, because it used to be, like, a health bar system, but now there was, like, individual damage parts. There was a, an amazing campaign as well that was really... The thing I always loved about the um, armor campaigns, they were very dynamic. Like, in one mission, as a uh, chopper pilot, you just sort of, like, flew around doing, you know, shooting um, stuff and, you know, shooting vehicles and all that stuff. You, you know, you're taking, like, insurgents out, however, with a chopper. If you crash behind enemy lines, you ended up as a prisoner of war. You end up getting taken prisoner. Um, and I think, I, 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 I vaguely recall that you could see yourself in a later mission. That may be just me making things up, though. Um, but if you felt like, if you crashed, like, you could actually just literally start the mission and then crash in your own territory and the mission would just be like, your helicopter went down, you got, you got back to base, fine, yada, yada, yada. That's just like, oh, okay. But if you crash behind enemy lines, ooh, that, that, you fucked up, dude. It was great. And so that, like, changed, I don't, like, I don't know if it, maybe, it might not have been that you couldn't be, um, maybe seen a later mission, but maybe you couldn't get support in a later mission. Um, the thing I liked most about it was the original armor campaign was very much, you're, you're special forces and you do special forcey things, right? That's all you did. But, um, the campaign of Operation Arrowhead, you played different people in, like, snapshots. So you did, like, you're a tank crew. You're a, I don't know, fucking, like, the tank crew part was the best part. Because you were rolling, like, roaring around in the desert with a fucking tank crew. It was amazing fun. Um, you know, you're a soldier. You're just, like, a grunt. You're a, you're a chopper pilot. You're a, I don't think you ever, I don't think you ever became, like, a jet fighter pilot or anything. I don't think you ever became, like, you know, a proper fucking Air Force soldier. You're always, uh doing choppers or close-in sort of support. Um, but yeah, it was really good fun. Just being like... Like the sort of like little snippets of the game. Um, nice map too, I like Takistan. Though, like, I do have to say... Um, Armor 3 has a much more beautiful map and the fact you can enter all the buildings is, like, absolutely awesome. Armor 3 is really good fun, its maps are amazing. But, uh, the thing that sucks about it is, um... What's the new map called? Fuck. Uh, it's, it's a jungle map. It has a jungle map, right? And, God, seeing things through that jungle is just impossible. And I mean, like, I know the AI doesn't cheat as bad as it used to do, but boy, does it feel like the AI cheats really bad. When, like, I can't see shit through this fucking jungle. I'm like, guys, are there enemies? I don't know, just fire in that general direction. I'm doing something, yay! Bang, 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 bang. In reality, I'm shooting at fucking thin air. Good. It's sort of like playing, um... It's why I like, I like Postscriptum, but I'm not a massive fan of it just yet. It's because the only maps I've fucking played are Hedgerow Hells. And it's like, oh, you know, there's probably enemies in the next few hedgerows, but you can't see them. You'll never see them. Literally never ever will you spot an enemy. No. It's, and like, if you do see an enemy, you will kill him. If an enemy sees you, he will kill you. That is your choice. Like, there is, it's just such a fucking ridiculous, like, I don't know, I guess, um, what's the best way to put it? Like, uh, you don't end up in firefights. And I, uh, you do end up in firefights in more urban areas. And that's what I like. Those are the good fun. Because you're actually, like, having a gun battle with someone. There's some skill there. And there's, like, suppression. And there's grenades and shit. But in the hedgerows, it's whoever spots the other person first wins. And that's just sort of how it goes. Alright. Oh, God. This is no population up here. We need to swing for, like, the mountains or something. I'm just wondering if there's a truck free that can head for Moscow. So you guys start to prep to go this way. Oh, hello there. I've just noticed this fucking little... Little fucking snake inside of my territory. How you doing there, Mr. Snake? Oh, fuck, you are doing a better job than me, apparently. All right, little shit. Hold on. Punch through. Yeah, she'll be right. Good. Okay, you can get back this way. Actually, no, cut this guy off. Good. Kill those guys around Leningrad. That's fine. Now, where do we go? I'm trying to deal with this is a bit of a bastard. Moscow's under threat! Fuck, I'm hoping that they can hold. There's four forts they might be able to hold for a little while. Okay, if we just go for Moscow. Go, boys! I just want Moscow, damn it. Just want Moscow! I'm almost tempted to leave this open so they'll keep, like, committing troops to it. Um. Hmm. Um. Hmm. God. Alright, keep... I just don't want troops to reach Moscow to stop me from uh, doing my ridiculous run. Lately I've been stouting. How's this division doing? Oh, it's fucking strong. 400. Oh, God, this division. I love it. I love this division. Go, boy. Okay, they're no longer actually just attacking Moscow, so we might be able to do this. Keep making the pushes, boys. Like, I wonder, though, if I take this territory, if I take Yar Yaroslav, and I have a quick look at it, wait for it. You guys keep on going. 
You're gonna go for like a wider attack sort of uh, style. You go this way. Uh, you attack here and then swing in. Good. You can take that. Lovely. You clear him and swing round. Not looking bad at all. Alright. These guys are getting crushed in there. Alright, 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 alright. Hey, how about we just, yeah, run through like that. There you go. A few more encirclements. Anyway, okay, right. Let's uh, finish up our research. Oh shit, I'm like way over time. Oh fuck. Um, right, we need to wrap it up here. Honestly, I was just having fun fighting this war, so my time just slipped past me. My apologies, this episode will be a little bit longer than usual. Enjoy. I'm going to end it here, and I'll continue up next episode. I have forgotten what I was talking about, like, just then, so... Here's hope it comes back to me. Um, something about attacking, probably. To take Moscow? I don't quite recall. Oh, right, okay, I know what I was talking about. Once I take Yaroslav, let's just test real quick. Here we go, take Yaroslav. Okay. Do I have a stabilized Yaroslav? No, so I feel like that I might not be able to call Moscow. Which makes me sad, but it's probably smart. Right, I'll see you next time. Farewell.